Hey guys, uh, today I'm just going to do a short install and test video on a JB4 piggyback ECU by Berger Motorsports on the next gen Ranger Raptor. I've been hunting around for tuning shops or aftermarket ECUs for the Ranger Raptor. They don't seem to exist yet. No one can hack the ECU. So at the moment, it looks like this is your best option if you want to get a bit more power out of the next gen Ranger Raptor. The package has arrived today, so we'll tear into it and throw it in, see what it does. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, it's a Bluetooth connect kit, so you can use your phone to change maps. OBD connector. And the JD4 unit. It's beautiful. It's, um, it's all done in anodized aluminium, etched with a JD4. Cool, let's get this beast in. Step one, we need to find this manifold pressure sensor the top of the manifold there, so we'll have to unplug that bad boy, plug the JP, JB4 connector into it. These little picks are an invaluable tool if you've got to rip apart connectors or trims. So after following the instructions, it said to pop off this front cover behind the grill and there'll be a map sensor down on the intercooler on the side. On the Ranger Raptor, the intercooler is actually mounted right down the bottom here, straight in there, and it's only about that high. So the instructions are obviously for an older model, as this JB4 services a couple of different types of ranges. I pulled off all the skid pan, had a look up there. I can't see any pressure sensors there. So I've just come back up the top and it looks like, looks like it actually will be this one, which is still an intercooler pressure sensor. So that makes sense. You've got one on the manifold, one on the intercooler piping. So yeah, we'll plumb him in there and hopefully that's a winner.
All right, so I'm happy enough with that. Tidied up all that wiring. The next step, if you got the wireless Bluetooth module, you just need to pop the case open and connect that harness. Got four Allen keys on the case. Okay, that's that. Then the final step is connecting the OBD port inside the cab, which plugs into this one, but you don't want to plug it in yet because you feed the small plug from the inside through the firewall and then across to the unit.
time. 